Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video. This is my video where I'll be giving you my four things in which I believe Chelsea need to do in order to beat Arsenal at the Emirates later on today. So without further ado, let's get straight into this list. So the first thing that I believe that Chelsea need to do is that they need to mark key players out of the game. For example, Alexandre Lacazette and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Um, they do have talent all over the pitch. So we need to make sure that they do not get any time on any time or any sort of space. Um, because if they do, we're in trouble. <laughs> we're in trouble, let's just say that. But that's the first thing. We need to mark key players out of the game. The second thing that I believe that Chelsea need to do is that they need to move the ball quickly and try to get the wingers in between the fullbacks slash wingbacks and the centre-backs as often as possible so that we can create spaces and that we can open up gaps in their defence. The reason why I said fullbacks slash wingbacks is because under Unai Emery, Arsenal seem to be playing either a 3 4 3 or a 4 2 3 1. But yeah, that's the second thing. We need to move the ball quickly and try to get, get um, the wingers in between the fullbacks slash wingbacks and the centre backs as often as possible. Hopefully that makes sense. The third thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to be clinical. Now, the reason why I've said this is because against Arsenal back in January of last year, where we drew 2 2. We were we were the, we were the opposite of clinical. We were let's let's face it. We were shambolic in front of goal at times. We should have won that game, like I said already. But yeah, we need to be clinical because we are away from home, and Arsenal do tend to turn up against us, um, especially at home. So yes, we need to be clinical whenever we get the chance, um, or whenever we get chances. So that's the third thing, and the fourth and final thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to concentrate for the entire game. And the reason why I've said this is because the game in which we in which we won by three goals to two last August um, at Stamford Bridge, we were we were brilliant, like I've said already. We did deserve the win, but we, we we didn't concentrate for the entire game. We had fifteen minutes at the end of the first half where we um we let Arsenal get back into it and get two goals to put themselves on level terms before half time or or get or straight into or um let me rephrase that we had 15 minutes at the end of the first half where we allowed Arsenal to score two goals two similar goals actually um which allowed them to go into half time on level terms there we go but yes that's the fourth and final thing we need to concentrate for the entire game so to recap, the first thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to mark key players out of the game. The second thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to move the ball quickly and get our wingers in between the fullbacks slash wingbacks and, the, and their centre-backs so that we can open up space and we need to do so as often as possible. The third thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to be clinical and the fourth and final thing that I believe that we need to do is that we need to concentrate for the entire game. So hopefully hopefully Chelsea do all four of those things. It would be lovely to see us beat Arsenal at the Emirates for the first time since Jan January 2016, but we'll just have to see. Come on, you blues, and ple peace. <laughs> and peace, sorry. Hopefully we beat Arsenal. Come on, Chelsea. Make us proud.